So first I'm going to show you how to do a basic silhouette. You're going to go into Photo Wizard Free and upload a picture. Turn down the exposure all the way. And ma make sure to mask the background out. Now if you want to make a colored silhouette, you can go into the exposure, exposure and contrast tab. Turn the contrast all the way down so it's gray like this. Save it. And go into the color balances tab. And just play around with the colors and make it whatever color you want. Right now you can see I'm trying to do a dark red one. And I'm just playing around with it, making sure I get the right color I want. And it's not easy either. You have to make sure you play around with it. Experiment some. You're not going to get the color you want right away. And this part is also relating to the minimalist edit I'm going to show you how to do in a second. So now that I have the dark red color that I want, I'm just going to save the masked version of it. And now, this is more for the minimalist part, but also to show you how to make a white silhouette. Turn the contrast all the way down again, and turn all the color balances up. So now I'm going to get more into the minimalist part. I already made this four color background, square background, with just four colors that went with the Hunger Games trilogy, because that's what I'm doing this edit on. I already made the silhouettes darker colors of each of the four colors on the background, just like I showed you a second ago. And you just want to upload them all to Payblock, which is a free app, and put them, position them in the center of the color. I made the background using Diptych, which is 99 cents, but you can also use something like um, pick collage or any kind of color collage app. So now that I have all the dark colors on, I put the white layer on top of them that we made a second ago on Photo Wizard Free, and it gives it more of a shadow 3D effect. So now we're going to go into Fonto to add text. I uploaded the picture from Payplug and I just want to square crop it so it's ready for Instagram. And eat. Or like even if you don't use Instagram, like just get rid of the white border because it looks kind of weird. So once you do that, you can add text. And I found a built-in font, a banana brick, and it's very similar to the original Hunger Games font. You can also find the Hunger Games font, like, just because that's what I'm using for my example. Probably on dafont.com and use WinZip to download it to Fonto, but it's all free. Even the font, so. So, I'm just adding, like, a quote from the book slash movie. Making it all look pretty. Positioning it where I want. And... You can also just use the layout feature <laughs> to get it nice and stacked and in line and move it to where you want it. Then I'll add a stroke around the text and save. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Um, as you can see, this is what the final product might look like except for the paint splatters in the back. Those came from Superimpose, which is a 99 cent app but it is so worth it. So yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at DailyEdit.